Hi, my name is Miss Sherry, and welcome to Storytime in my home. I hope that you are all doing well and how I miss seeing you at the library. All right, so we're gonna do story time today, and let's start off with our hello song, and it goes like this. We wave and say hello, we wave and say hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and say hello. We clap and say hello, we clap and say hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and say hello. All right, now it's time for our story time rhyme. One, two, our eyes are watching. Three, four, our ears are listening. Five, six, our lips are zipped. Seven, eight, story time is great. Nine, ten, let the fun begin. Today our story time is all about cookies. Do you like cookies? I know I do. And our first book is called, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. And it was written by Laura Joff Numeroff. She is the author of our story because she wrote all the words. And Felicia Bond is called our illustrator because she drew all the pictures. Let's begin. If you give a mouse a cookie. He's going to ask for a glass of milk. And when you give him the milk, he'll probably ask you for a straw. And when he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. And when he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. And he'll start sweeping he might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. That's a really nice mouse. He may even end up washing the floors as well. And when he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in and make himself comfortable and fluff the pillow a few times. And he'll probably ask you to read him a story. So you'll read to him from one of your books and he'll ask to see the pictures. And when he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw one of his own. So he'll ask for some paper and crayons. He'll draw a picture. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name. Look how nice his picture is. He'll want to sign his name with a pen. And then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he will need, let's see what he will need, scotch tape. And he'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. And looking at the refrigerator will remind him that, hmm, what do you think it's going to remind him of? He's thirsty. So, what kind of drink do you think he's going to ask for? He'll 
ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, he's going to want a cookie to go with it. That is such a fun book. All right, I have a plate of cookies. I have one, two, three cookies down around the corner in the bakery shop where three yummy cookies with sprinkles on top. Along comes a fox with a dollar to pay. He buys a cookie and then he takes it away. How many cookies are left? One, two. There are two cookies left. Down around the corner in the bakery shop were two yummy cookies with sprinkles on top. Along comes a raccoon with a dollar to pay. He buys a cookie and then he takes it away. How many cookies are left? There is one cookie left. Down around the corner in the bakery shop was one yummy cookie with sprinkles on top. Along comes a dog with a dollar to pay. He buys a cookie and then he takes it away. How many cookies are left? Zero, there are no cookies left. All right, I have one more story. This one is called Chocolate Chippo Hippo. And it was written and illustrated by a man named Vincent Andorani. He is both our author because he wrote all the words to the story and our illustrator because he drew all the pictures. Let's begin. Ed the hippo loves to eat cookies. In fact, Ed loves all kinds of cookies. Look at all those cookies. That's a lot, isn't it? But Ed's most favorite cookies are chocolate chip cookies. He eats them by the bag and he munches them by the jar and crunches them by the box. Ed loves chocolate chip cookies so much that he even has a chocolate chip cookie suit. And it is believed that Ed has the one and only pair of chocolate chip cookie sunglasses. Cool. Look at his suit and look at his sunglasses. When Ed isn't eating chocolate chip cookies, he's dreaming about them. And during the day, Ed works in a bakery. More cookies. Ooh, look at that. Do you see him dreaming about him? And look, he works in a bakery just like our rhyme that we just did. It is hard work, but Ed really enjoys it. And in the evening, Ed comes back home to relax. Look at his home. Does he have a nice home? Ed sits back in his favorite chair and reads his favorite book. And then he eats his favorite dinner of spaghetti and meatballs. And of course, there are chocolate chip cookies for dessert. And that's the end. Was that a silly story? That is a really silly story. Do you think that Ed made good eating choices? No, he didn't. Do you know why? Because he ate way too many cookies. It's okay to eat one or two cookies in a day but you should never eat a whole bag like Ed the Hippo did because cookies have a lot of sugar in them. 
and too much sugar is not good for our bodies. It can make us sick and it can make us feel very tired too. Can you think of some healthy food choices? Hmm, how about vegetables? Or you can call them veggies for short, and fruits. Veggies and fruits are good for our bodies because they have vitamins and minerals in them which help our bodies fight off sicknesses and they are good for our eyes, they're good for our skin, they help us become strong, they help us grow, and they give us energy. Do you like to run around and play? Well, that is called energy. So it's important that we eat veggies and fruits every day. And now we're gonna sing a song about veggies and fruits. And I even have some with me here. I have some peas and I have a carrot. These are different kinds of veggies. There are so many kinds of veggies out there like broccoli and cauliflower and green beans and I can't name all of them because there's so many. But we're gonna use these two and I have some fruits. I have grapes and a banana. And there are so many kinds of fruits too, like apples and strawberries and watermelon. And again, there's so many kinds of fruits too, but we're gonna use these two. And our song, it goes like this. Where's my veggies? Where's my veggies? Here they are, here they are. I make healthy choices. I make healthy choices every day every day. Let's sing it again. Where's my veggies? Where's my veggies? Here they are. Here they are. I make healthy choices. I make healthy choices every day. Every day. All right, now let's change the words to fruit. Where's my fruit? Where's my fruit? Here they are. Here they are. I make healthy choices. I make healthy choices every day. Every day. Let's sing it one more time. Where's my fruit? Where's my fruit? Here they are. Here they are. I make healthy choices. I make healthy choices every day, every day. Good job. Well, I hope that you had fun today. Let's sing our goodbye song, which sounds just like our hello song. We wave and say goodbye. We wave and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wave and say goodbye. We clap and say goodbye. We clap and say goodbye with 